Hey guys and welcome to a very exciting, somewhat behind the scenes kind of video. I get asked a lot whether I have a tutorial for a particular visual effect, whether I have videos for software X or Y or whether I in fact have any tutorials for Adobe After Effects. Yeah. Now I already did a slightly sassy video on how to find everything on my YouTube channel called There's a video for that and I recommend you check it out by clicking on this link up here in the top left hand corner if you haven't seen it already. Anywho, I figured it would still be a great idea to actually take you through the Surface Studio YouTube channel with a little less attitude and show you how everything is organized, how to find a particular tutorial and where it best gets started depending on your current skill level. Whoa, this is a little inception-y. Well, okay, so you're on the YouTube watch page right now watching this very video. Just underneath the video, you will see my channel name and icon. Move your mouse over it. Come on, don't be shy. Try it out. There you go. Both the name and the icon are links that will take you through to the main Surface Studio channel page. Try them out. Just click on them right now. Come on. There you go. And now that we're through the rabbit hole, welcome to the Surface Studio YouTube channel. If you are not yet subscribed, and I very much would appreciate if you did, you will be presented with a quick intro video that explains what this channel is all about and what content you can expect to see. If you are already subscribed, I believe in this position YouTube will recommend you the next video from my channel to watch. If you are just getting started, let's scroll down a little bit and I have actually organized my entire YouTube channel into playlists. And at the very top you will find popular uploads, so these are my most popular videos and you can just click through and check them out. But now, if you are just getting started using Adobe After Effects, and I do get a lot of people who are just starting out and they just don't know where to start, this playlist here, Adobe After Effects Tutorials Beginner, is the best place to start. It's a full eight part series that will take you through how to use Adobe After Effects from the very beginning through all of the core concepts like compositions, masking, null objects, parenting. And then towards the end, you'll learn a little bit about 3D as well as how to create blood smear effects, lightning hands, camera shakes, and a few other cool things. Once you've mastered all of the basic concepts that I think you really need to understand before you move on to the more complicated things, you can move on to the next playlist, which is my intermediate tutorials for Adobe After Effects. In here, you will apply everything that you've learned in the basic series to create some more advanced visual effects like morphing or bullet hits, and there's motion tracking, which is very important and used in a ton of visual effects, explosions, curving bullets, green screening, cloning, and much, much more. Lately, because I don't only use Adobe After Effects, I also use Premiere Pro, I have started creating some beginner tutorials for Adobe Premiere Pro that I've organized into a playlist. Here, just like the basic tutorials for Adobe After Effects, I will take you through how to use Premiere Pro to edit your film projects from start to finish. Now, the series is pretty short at the moment, it's only 5 videos long, but there'll be more coming in the future. The next playlist on my channel contains some more generic filmmaking tutorials and concepts that are really important to understand, no matter what type of film projects you actually want to work on. So there's things about shutter angle. If you don't know what shutter angle is and you want to make movie quality films, I highly recommend that you go check this out. Basic green screening techniques, color correction, color grading, and I talk a little bit about video modes and pixel aspect ratio. So if you've ever ended up with a video that had weird black bars on the side or the resolution was really weird but somehow it stretched across your screen, this is the video you want to watch. Now for those of you screaming for more advanced After Effects tutorials, I have a playlist that contains all of them and it's called Adobe After Effects Tutorials Advanced. All of the videos in this playlist do assume that you are very familiar with Adobe After Effects and that you're not scared to move into other programs like Cinema 4D or 3ds Max. So you learn things like moving a camera through ceilings or walls, which is actually based on a tutorial called Submerged by Video Copilot, which I highly recommend you check out. Then I have a really cool effect of turning Selena into a murder of crows as she spins around. And this tutorial series is a two part and it does involve quite a bit of work in 3D Studio Max. You learn how to blow up a bike, which includes 3D camera tracking, how to add fireworks, again, 3D tracking, and how to create a roof crash effect which I've actually used a lot of Cinema 4D for to create the physics for the debris. The next step up, in my opinion, is starting to work with 3D integration. And again, I've made a playlist for this. 
3D integration, for those of you who don't actually know what it is, is the technique of taking some real life footage, extracting camera movement information using camera tracking, 2D tracking, motion capture and all sorts of other really advanced techniques and then creating 3D scenes or creatures and elements in a 3D program like 3D Studio Max, Cinema 4D or Maya and integrating it back into the original shot. 3D integration essentially allows you to create any visual effect you want because you can simply create the elements in a 3D program and then bring them back into your scene. However, this technique is quite advanced and so I have a full series that explains what 3D integration is, some of the planning that needs to go into, how you do the camera tracking part, how you then do a little bit of work in 3ds Max. Now, I am not a guru on 3D programs, I'm not great with 3ds Max or Cinema 4D, so what I do in these tools is quite basic, but I'm just explaining it for the purpose of this series. And then we talk a little bit about integrating it all back into your original shot. And I talk a little bit about the Element 3D plugin from Video Copilot that makes 3D integration in Adobe After Effects possible without any third-party programs. Another series that I have recently started is my Filmmaking 101 series. And the reason I've started this series is because a lot of people are so focused on their visual effects, they don't focus enough on just making the movie good, the story compelling and the characters come alive. They're so focused on the visual effects and there's so much that goes into good filmmaking. And I just want to start talking about the topics like continuity, how to work with space, what types of edits you can use. And there's a whole bunch of other things that I want to add to it. At the moment, there's only three, but there will be plenty more coming in the future. Finally, if you feel like you just want to decompress and not focus on having to learn something new, I've also got a playlist that contains all of the visual effect short films that we've created. There's our Halloween horror special for The Ring as well as The Zombie Hunter and these two I'm personally really proud of. I think they turned out really well and I recommend you go check them out. But there's also a lot of other silly stuff we've done like Candy Crush, um, TV War, Doppelganger, Hand Grenade and a really old one where you've got a bunch of singing trash bins that you can check out if you want. If that is still not enough for you, you can find even more playlists at the bottom of my channel. So there's a playlist on HitFilm because I've started creating tutorials for HitFilm, which is becoming a very popular alternative for the indie filmmaking community. And then there's even more at the bottom. You can just keep scrolling through a few of them repeat and you've seen them already, but there's even more content here. If you don't want to go through my playlist, you can actually browse and search through the videos on my channel directly. For that, all you have to do is come up into the videos tab and in here you will find all of my videos listed chronologically. You can scroll down and there's a ton of tutorials and videos to go through. So you can kind of try to find whatever you want in here. Obviously you can sort them either by time. So this is a chronological order or you can just sort them by the most popular ones. So you'll find the ones that are the most popular ones at the top. So After Effects versus Premiere Pro, it's a really important thing. Very important to understand if you're not already across it. And then a whole bunch of visual effects tutorials. If you are looking for a video on a particular topic, and I'm not saying this to be sassy, before you go ask me, you can simply come into my channel page, into the videos tab and over on the right hand side, you will find a little search icon. You can simply click on this and let's say we want to search for tracking related videos and then hit enter to search. Bam! And there's my videos on tracking. 2D motion tracking, the 3D camera tracker and well, kind of tracking related track mats. Let's assume you really like blowing stuff up and you're looking for some action visual effects. Let's simply search for explosion. And there you go, a whole bunch of fiery goodness, how to blow up a motorbike, a basic tutorial on how to create explosions if you haven't done this before, one on building explosions, which again is a little bit more advanced and a very common problem is how to remove the black background for most of the free stock footage that you find online. The search function is the best option to dig through all of the content on my channel and find the tutorials that you actually want to watch. Of course, I'm assuming that most of you know all of this stuff already anyways, but I do get quite a lot of questions on where best to get started or how to find a particular tutorial. So I figured it would be worth giving you a quick tour of my channel. I know I don't have tutorials for everything yet, but I do release a new video usually every week or sometimes every other week. So if you are not yet subscribed, in which case you would get a notification anyway, come check out my channel every now and then and see what exciting new tutorials are available. I really hope you enjoyed this quick Surface Studio YouTube channel tour. And as always, if you do have any comments, questions or suggestions, just leave them down in the section below. As you know, I 
always appreciate you guys helping me out by liking, favoriting and sharing this video. And if you do want to see more cool filmmaking and visual effects tutorials, don't forget to go to youtube.com slash surfaced studio and subscribe. Thank you very much for watching and until next time, I will see you later.